about udder health. Udder health can be a major problem on a dairy farm. If you're talking about mastitis, this can cost for one clinical case about 210 euros. And if you have a really expensive case, it's caused by acid stuffing glorious beginning of the lactation, the cost can be up to 235 euros. If you have a subclinical case of mastitis, so that's mastitis you don't see in the milk and don't see on the cow, just by using the California milk test, this coat can cost 77 euros per cow. So on average, the cost of mastitis on a farm can be 140 euros per cow per year. So if you have a dairy farm with 100 cows, this is a cost of 14,000 euro per year just on mastitis. Capo has the solution to fight mastitis, firstly by diagnosing the mastitis with the CMT test. Then of course we can treat with mastoline, we can dry cows off using Loxamus dry cow and use treatment of TMPS injection. With mild mastitis cases, you can use the other cream. Using the CMT test um, is by first cleaning it, putting milk in all the cir circles, then put the fluid from the CMT solution into the circles, and when you start mixing, the one with subclinical mastitis will become jelly. Okay, so when you're taking a CMT test, it is important to always put it on the same way under the other, so you know which quarter is which circle. These cows are robotic milk, so they are not used, but people are taking samples from them, so that's why they can be a little bit flat. Okay, so now we put the fluid into the circles, and as you can see, it doesn't matter if it's getting a little bit dirty because it's just about proteins in the circles. So if you can see, this one is really clear. The one with the subclinical mastitis is right back quarter. The other ones are showing a little bit difference in color as well, but this one is clearly red and very jelly. So if we put the fluid into the circles and start twisting, you can clearly see it's the right back quarter which has the problem, the subclinical mastitis. So this is a cow which will cost the farmer up to 77 euros per year only because he's got subclinical mastitis and got less production just because of the subclinical mastitis. We're going to take a um, bacterial sample from milk samples from this cow. This cow had a positive CMT test on the right back quarter. So that's exactly where we're going to take a sample from. First, we need to clean the uh, teeth very well with uh, an al alcoholic tissue or anything else. Then you can take the milk sample. By taking the milk samples, it's very important that you work very clean. So this uh, one did uh, got well, so now we just write on the number and the quarter and send it up to the laboratory. We took milk samples on this beautiful dairy farm near Deventer in Holland. From the 10 samples we took, 5 samples came back positive for infectious mastitis. So this farmer really had a problem. Um, we advised him to change milking routine to prevent further infection and to treat uh, infected cows and to cull infected cows with 
um, Staphylococcus aureus. Diagnosis and di detection, detection of other health problems is very important. You can use a CNT test to diagnose subclinical mastitis and find infected quarters. When you got your diagnosis right, you can treat cows using other cream, mastoline, and cloxamus dry cow and use TMPS injection. Furthermore, it's very important to know whether you've got um, an infectious mastitis or an environmental mastitis to change your management. So if you need further information, you can call KPRO for total farm management to improve your knowledge and production on farm.